Hello, my name is Lumbu and today we are going to look at Travis A computations. At the end of this lesson, you are supposed to be able to do the following to calculate and adjust angular closure. To calculate the whole circle bearing for each Travis A leg and students should also be able to determine the change in these things and change in all things and again calculate and adjust the total error in the change in all things and change in these things and also do the arithmetic check and uh, also do the coordinate uh, calculations of course for the coordinate calculations we are going to look at this at our next discussion so for today we are going to stop at uh, uh, the errors in the change in these things and change in other things. As for the area, we are going to look at that at our next uh, discussion. So before you start any traverse calculations or traverse computations, you are supposed to look at the angular check for the polygon that you've just surveyed. In fact, the total sum of uh, the closed polygon for a traversed uh, area is supposed to add up to n minus 2 times 180 degrees where n is the number of the size or the number of angles in a polygon so let's imagine we have uh, this polygon on our, our right hand side and then it is required that we should work out the angular check or to find out whether the angles in the internal angles of the polygon we are going to add up to the formula that we have n minus 2 times 180 degrees so the surveyed angle angle a is 31 degrees 27 minutes and 0 07 seconds angle b is 210 so angle b is that angle that is the reflex angle so it's uh, 210 degrees 15 minutes 36 uh, seconds and the angle C is uh, 97 degrees 10 minutes and 48, sec 48 seconds. Angle D is 73 degrees 36 minutes and 7.2. So that's supposed to be 7.2 seconds, not as it is appearing, but it's 7.2 seconds. And then we have angle E, which is 127 degrees 30 minutes and 18 um, seconds so if we add all those internal angles they are supposed to give us a total which is equivalent to n minus 2 times 180 degrees so whenever you're adding these angles on the calculator the symbols for the angle is that uh, where you 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 see uh, the three uh, commas and also a zero there so this is the symbol for uh, the angle whenever you are calculating so for example if you are you want to dial in you want to punch in uh, 97 degrees uh, 10 minutes and 48 seconds so what you do is uh, you punch in 97 degrees so degrees you punch in on that and then you punch 10 and then you punch that symbol uh, that key and also 48 you punch that key then you say plus uh, the other angles that you you will be working on so in this case we have um, uh, five angles it is uh, a polygon of five sides it means that for n we are going to substitute five so we have five minus two which is equal to three and three times 180 it is going to give us 540 degrees so whenever we're adding these internal angles the total sum is supposed to be 540 degrees otherwise we may need to do some adjustments so this is the addition of the angles in this table that you can see angle a we have that one angle b and angle c angle d and angle e we have that so as for angle d we just corrected the seconds to zero seven seconds so the, 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 that's why you you don't see uh, 7.2 on the second side so what you do you are going to punch in for angle a you are going to punch in 31 then that key degree 27 
key degree and 07 that key degree then you say plus 210 and also you'll be punching that and then you say plus you have 97 uh, you say plus 97 degrees 10 um, minutes 48 seconds plus 73 degrees 36 minutes and 07 seconds then 127 degrees 30 minutes and uh, 18 seconds <coughs> So the total sum, excuse me, so the total sum is going to be 539 degrees, 59 minutes and 56 seconds. So you can see that we are short of uh, uh, some seconds for us to have uh, 540 degrees. So this gives us the error is the required sum minus total observed angle. So in this case it's 540 degrees minus the calculated angles that we have calculated from the internal angles of the polygon which is 539 degrees uh, 59 minutes and 56 seconds so the answer is going to be minus minus uh, 00 degrees uh, 00 minutes and 04 seconds so it means that we are short of, of four seconds for us to uh, have 540 degrees so the adjustment in this case that is uh, supposed to be proportional that to distribute the errors equally so we divide the error by the number of sides or by the number of angles that we have so therefore in this case there appears that uh, we are going to add 0 degrees 0 minutes and 0 0.8 seconds for each and every angle that we've uh, observed but since we do not want fraction seconds so we just look at uh, uh, four crucial angles we just leave one so we are going to add uh, one second to four crucial angles those angles that we think they we, we might have problems in uh, observing them especially the angles that <coughs> are acute sometimes are difficult to observe so those are the ones that we are will be considered uh, for adding a one so if we add in fact uh, for angle a we have 37 degrees 27 minutes and 07 seconds so if we add a one then we will have the adjusted angles on the other side but in this case we uh, i'm showing the angles that we have that is those angles erroneous angles and uh, the adjustments that we are going to uh, undertake like for angle a we have uh, an adjustment uh, which is um, zero one second so if we add 31 degrees 27 minutes and uh, zero seven uh, seconds is going to give us 31 degrees 27 minutes and 08 seconds and uh, for angle B we are not adding anything to angle B because we have just selected four angles that we are going to add uh, uh, one second so angle B will remain as it is and uh, the angle C is 97 degrees 10 minutes for the eight seconds plus zero one uh, seconds then it's going to give us 97 degrees 10 seconds uh, 49 uh, sorry is uh, 97 degrees 10 minutes and 49 uh, seconds and uh, angle d now becomes 73 degrees 36 minutes and 08 uh, seconds and the angle e comes to be uh, 127 degrees 30 uh, minutes and 19 seconds so if we add all these angles the adjusted angles the answer is exactly 540 degrees so in this case we have adjusted the angles we have adjusted the internal angles now we are ready uh, for the next uh, stage so if you look at uh, the corrected angles now the next stage we are going to use the corrected angles we are not going to use those erroneous angles but we are going to use the calculated corrected angles so the corrected angles will appear as it is in this diagram so now we are ready to calculate the whole circle bearings of uh, the figures since we have already been given the whole circle bearing for AB which is a uh, 262 uh, uh, degrees we are therefore going to concentrate on uh, uh, the whole circle bearing for the traverse legs uh, BC, CD, DE and EA so if we look at uh, the whole circle bearing for BC so as you can see we have um, 
the whole circle bearing for uh, the, uh, the the line AB and uh, angle A in that case this angle A is 98 degrees and angle B is going to be um, 180 degrees minus minus um, angle A because these are uh, allied angles so assuming that those north lines are parallel to each other therefore uh, the line AB is the transversal so uh, A plus B is equal to 180 degrees therefore A is A is equal to 98 therefore B is equal to 180 degrees minus uh, 98 uh, degrees so this is going to give us 82 degrees so B is equal to 82 degrees. The purpose of finding the uh, value of angle B, since we are determining the whole circle bearing of the line BC, we need to determine this value and the internal angle of uh, B. If we add these two angles, they are going to give us a 10 over uh, uh, this line. That is, if you are citing C from B from the north, that is, uh, you, you, you first of all face the north, and then you turn by that angle to site C. So in order to determine this angle, this angle which shows that arc uh, arrow or maybe uh, the, the which, which has got that annotation, we are supposed to find the value of B and then we add with the internal angle. So uh, the value for B is 82. This 82 is added to 210 degrees, 15 uh, minutes to the 6 seconds. So if we add those two angles, then it's going to give us uh, 292 uh, degrees, 15 minutes and uh, 36 seconds. So that is the whole circle bearing for BC. The whole circle bearing for BC once again, it is 292 degrees, 15 minutes, and 36 seconds. For this, we are now ready for the whole circle bearing of the line CD. <coughs> so there are certain things that we also need to work out for us to determine the whole circle bearing for the line uh, uh, CD. So the whole circle bearing for the line CD is this angle, that is angle D plus the internal angle uh, C. So we have the internal angle. We, we For us to determine the value of angle D, we need to work out the value of angle C so that we are going to subtract or if we add D plus C, it's going to give us 180 degrees which are allied angles. So since we have already determined the value of or, or the value of uh, this angle or the whole circle bearing of uh, uh, BC, which is uh, 292 degrees 15 uh, minutes and 36 seconds. <coughs> Therefore, it is easy for us to determine the value of angle C because uh, this angle of uh, the whole circle bearing of this line and angle C, they are angles at a point and they add up to 360 degrees. So, to determine the value of angle C, we are going to subtract 360 degrees minus whole circle bearing of the line BC. So if we carry out the subtraction, the answer is going to be 67 degrees 44 minutes and 24 seconds. Therefore, we've determined the value of angle C. So it is easy for us to determine the value of angle D, this angle D. It's not uh, the whole of that arc, but it's only that angle. So the value of angle D is going to be uh, 180 degrees minus uh, angle C, or in other case, 180 degrees minus 67 degrees 44 uh, minutes, 24 seconds, because these are allied angles. And these north lines are parallel to each other, and the line BC is the transversal. So therefore, if we subtract, the answer is going to be 112 degrees, 15 uh, minutes, 36 seconds. In order to determine the whole circle bearing for CD, that is from the north. So in this case, in all the lines, 
the arrows indicate the direction of the north or indicates the position of the north although i haven't indicated in other lines so where we have the arrow that's where the north point is so if we turn from the north facing d then we're supposed to add this angle small letter d plus the internal angle c which is 97 degrees at uh, 10 minutes and 49 seconds so the whole circle bearing of the line c d is going to be 97 degrees uh, 10 minutes 49 seconds plus 112 degrees 15 minutes and 36 uh, seconds and the answer comes to 209 degrees uh, 26 minutes and 25 seconds so that is the horseable bearing for the line c d now we are going to work out next uh, the horseable bearing for the line uh, d e so to determine the horseable bearing for the line d e is going to be this angle g plus the internal angle of uh, d so to work out the value of d we need to determine the value of E because uh, that angle and angle E and angle G these are alternate angles so we are assuming that uh, the north lines these north lines are parallel to each other therefore angle E and angle G are equal because these are alternate angles and uh, the line C D is the trans uh, vessel so in the equation we have e plus f which is our uh, 97 degrees for, the, for uh, 10 minutes and 49 seconds but c in this case is equal to f so these are alternate angles and uh, c we have already determined the value of uh, c therefore to determine the value of e we are going to subtract 97 because in this case c is equal to 67 degrees 44 minutes and 24 seconds so to determine the value of angle e we are going to subtract 97 degrees 10 minutes 49 seconds minus 67 degrees 44 seconds sorry 67 degrees 44 minutes 24 seconds so the answer there is uh, 29 degrees uh, 26 minutes 25 uh, seconds which is equal to g so since we've said e is equal to g these are alternate angles and the north lines are parallel so the value for angle g is equal to 29 degrees 26 minutes and 25 seconds now to determine the possible bearing of uh, this line d e to determine the horseable bearing of the line DE is going to be uh, a 73, that is the internal angle, 73 degrees 36 minutes 08 seconds plus 29 degrees 26 minutes 25 seconds. And the answer is 103 degrees 02 minutes and 33 seconds. That's the horseable bearing for DE. And now, lastly, we need to determine the horseable bearing for the line. E A, that is uh, the horse bearing on this line E A. Um, we know that the horse bearing for the line uh, D E is one zero three degrees zero two minutes and thirty three seconds, and uh, we need to determine the value of H, this angle H, so that we can work out. Uh, the horseable bearing of the line EA. So this angle, angle uh, D, that is uh, the angle D plus G uh, is plus H is equal to 180 degrees because these are allied angles and the north lines are parallel to each other. D is the transversal. So the value of H is going to be uh, 180 degrees minus the circle bearing of the line DE which is 103 degrees so was 2 minutes and 33 uh, seconds and this gives us 76 uh, degrees 57 minutes and 27 uh, seconds therefore the horseable bearing of EA is equal to 
127 degrees that's the value for angle e uh, 127 degrees 30 minutes and 19 seconds minus 73 degrees 57 minutes 27 seconds and this gives us an answer of 50 degrees 36 minutes and uh, 36 minutes and uh, 52 uh, seconds now that we've calculated all this we are now ready to determine the change in these things and changing know things calculations so whenever we are calculating the change in these things and changing all these calculations any line that has been observed any line that has been measured uh, in the traverse exercise is assumed to be the hypotenuse of uh, uh, that relationship between the change in these things and change in other things so normally uh, the no things uh, the if we would want to work out the difference in the nothing sense or in the y sense these are known as the change in nothing and normally the change in nothing so we should say the change in nothing are determined by multiplying the distance of the trapezoid leg times its bearing so as it is in this case just uh, in this portion um, we have uh, the bearing of the line which is theta the bearing of the line ea which is theta and the distance is 212.44 meters so whenever we want to find the change in northern this line this distance from here a down here the vertical distance then we multiply this distance which is 212.44 meters times the cosine bearing times the cosine bearing of this line ea then we are going to determine uh, the uh, the change in northings while on the other hand if you are determining the change in easting that is uh, from here to there we work out uh, we multiply the distance that is the distance that we have observed in this case is ea distance ea times sine uh, theta or times sine bearing of the line ea then we have uh, determined the value of uh, the change in eastings so let us look at um, how we work out this so we have in the previous um, uh, example let me show you again on that uh, example um, so in the previous example in a way it's okay uh, in the previous examples we, you, you can see that we have uh, the distance uh, a b which is 129.54 uh, meters and uh, b c is 160 uh, 0.4 uh, meters and uh, you have a uh, cd which is 153.98 meters and also de which is a uh, uh, 193.40 meters and then ea is 212.44 meters so this is the column for the length in meters and this is the column for the whole circle bearing so the whole circle bearing of the line ab of course 262 degrees was already given by us but we calculated these uh, other whole circle bearings that is for the whole circle bearing for bc we have 292 degrees 15 minutes 36 seconds uh, and also cd is um, we have uh, 209 uh, degrees 26 um, minutes and 25 seconds for de is 103 degrees 02 minutes and 33 seconds and so on so for us to determine the change in these things like i indicated in that formula so we are going to multiply the distance a b times sine uh, of uh, 262 degrees i also should i also have in demonstrated on how you punch in the degree symbols whenever you are calculating these problems from the previous uh, slides so you have this 129.54 times uh, sine 262 uh, uh, degrees so this gives us to two decimal places it's going to give us 128.28 uh, um, that's the value for the change in eastern so these are in meters anyway but it's 100 is minus 128 uh, point, uh, uh, point, uh, 
to 8 meters. So the negative sign, it means that you are moving towards the left in terms of the eastings. Um, and also the change in northings, so you multiply, I've indicated the formula here, that is how we have d cos theta. So for d, you substitute, you have 129.54, and then you multiply this figure by uh, cosine uh, to 62 degrees. And the answer to two decimal places is minus, minus 18.01 uh, meters. So the negative sign indicates that uh, you are going down, uh, you are going down the north. That is, uh, in this case, the line may be slanting downwards, but towards the east because uh, we also have towards the uh, left hand side because we have a uh, uh, minus uh, uh, minus change in these things. So, so that's the minus symbol indicates that you are going towards the west or you are going towards the left. But if you are moving towards the right, then the the, the value whenever you are calculating, they're supposed to be positive. And uh, for the northern change in northern is supposed to be, uh, when you are moving upwards, it's supposed to be uh, positive as well. So you do the same with uh, these other figures. That is, uh, you have, um, for BC, we have uh, 160.40. Then you say for change in these things, you say 160.40 uh, times um, sine 292 degrees. 15 minutes and 32, uh, 36 seconds. This will give you 148 uh, minus 148.45 meters. And uh, if you want to determine the change in northings for the Travis leg BC, then it's, a, it's going to be 160.40. Then you say cosine uh, 292 degrees, uh, 15 minutes and 36 seconds. And this will give you a result to two decimal places, uh, which is 60.76 meters. Um, the same would apply to for the distance EA. So for changing these things, you say 212.44. For changing these things, then you multiply by uh, sine 50 degrees, 36 minutes, 52 seconds. And the answer will be 164 degrees, sorry, 154.19. But if you multiply, if you want to determine the change in northern, then it's supposed to be uh, 212.44, then cos 50 degrees, 36 minutes, and 52 seconds. Then the answer should be to two decimal places, that is, it should be 134.80. So, since we need this in our, our next uh, assignment, then since we need to correct it, that is uh, to correct in the change in instincts, change in northings, and also possibly come up with the corrected change in instincts and also change in northings, then thereafter the coordinates, therefore we need to determine the perimeter of uh, uh, the polygon that we have traversed. So we add all these uh, uh, Travis lakes, and the answer is 849.76. And also we add the change in instincts and also change in northings. So wherever there are no errors, the answer is supposed to be zero. If we add all the change in instincts, the answer should be zero. But in this case, it's not zero. The answer is zero. Uh, is, is zero point one nine. So zero point one nine is our error. And also for changing northings, we have minus zero point two zero. That is our error. <clears throat> so for us to eliminate those errors, for changing these things, we need to subtract from uh, the traverse legs. Um, that is the change in these things that we have calculated. We need to subtract zero that is an accumulation of 0 0.19 okay that is the figures that we, we would have subtracted from the change in these things they should add up to uh, 0 0.19 and therefore if we add all the change in these things then the answer will be 0 0.00 the same would apply to change in nothing since we have a uh, short of uh, um, uh, 0 0.20 Therefore, we need to add, to add, to work out in a such a way that we are adding uh, 0 0.20. So that when we add all the changing things, the answer is going to be 0 0.00.
So we normally determine uh, the error in each traverse leg by using the Bodich method, which we are going to discuss in our subsequent uh, uh, discussions. So for today, maybe we should stop here and then we'll continue in our next discussion by determining uh, the correction in the uh, uh, change in these things and also change in other things and also how do we correct that and how do we work out uh, the correction uh, using the bodage method. So thanks for your attention and listening until we meet next time. Thank you.